it's a simple problem on calculating the centroid of an area. You have an area OAB here described by a curve and the curve is following an equation y is equal to ax squared. Now you have a maximum x value of 6 and a maximum y value of 4. So in the equation you have a constant a and you need to find the value of that constant. So you have the maximum x value 6 and y value 4. So at this point a here you will have at point A x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 4. So you can substitute those values in the equation which will give you 4 is equal to A into 6 squared or A is equal to 4 by 36 that is equal to 1 by 9. And now you need to uh, consider a strip here, as infinitesimal area, in order to find the centroid. You know the equations of centroid or the, the coordinates of centroid can be calculated by x bar is equal to integral x dA over integral dA and y bar is equal to integral y dA over integral dA. If you have any confusion how these equations are derived, please go through the, uh, the video here where we discuss centroid and uh, center of gravity. Uh, before proceeding in further in this video, I would recommend you to go through the video where we discuss centroid and uh, center of gravity. So once you have a better understanding of that, let's proceed in this video. And as I mentioned earlier, we need to consider a small strip and then integrate following this equation to calculate the centroid of the area OAB. So you have a strip shown here. And uh, let's say the width of the strip is dx. And the assumption here is that it is a rectangle. This is assumed to be a rectangle. And you know the centroid of the rectangle is at its center or the joint of its diagonals. And that will be somewhere here. And the distance to that centroid will be half of the distance that is y by 2. And let's call this distance to the x distance to the centroid. This is y star, let's call it y star in order to avoid confusion of multiple of y bars. And let's call this x distance x star. So for this area, the, the coordinates of centroid are x star and y star. And you know the area dA is y dx because y is the height and x is the width so we have x bar is equal to integral x dA over integral dA and that will be over a distance of 0 to 6 so integral 0 to 6 and 0 to 6 that's equal to you know dA is y dx and we have calculated the y value as 1 by 9 x squared. So you have y is equal to 1 by 9 x squared dx. This will give you, this is the value of y, 1 by 9 x squared. So this equation becomes integral 0 to 6 x into dA that is y dx that is x squared by 9 dx over integral x squared by 9 dx 
and again 0 to 6. So you have 1 by 9 will come out and 1 by 9 will come out. So that will cancel each other. 1 by 9, 0 to 6, x cubed dx over 1 by 9, 0 to 6, x squared dx. So you have, you can calculate these two, which will give you x raised to 4 by 4 over x raised to 3 by 3. x raised to 4 by 4 within limits 0 to 6 over x raised to 3 by 3 within limits 0 to 6. And that is after calculation you will have 324 over 72 and that's equal to 9 by 2 or 4.5. So that is the distance to the x coordinate of the centroid of this area from origin. And now you need to calculate the distance of y bar. Exactly the same conditions where you have y is equal to x squared by 9 and here you know the centroid of the area considered is the coordinate of centroid in y distance is y by 2 we have considered this as y the total distance and the centroid is at the center so the coordinate of the centroid in y direction is y by 2 so in the equation of y bar you will have the centroid y by 2 for this area. So we know y bar is equal to integral y star dA 0 to 6 over integral 0 to 6 dA. Here it should have been x star. It's all x star. So that is, we know the y star is y by 2, y over 2 and y is equal to x squared by 9. So apply that those conditions in the equation and also you have dA is equal to y dx. So you have integral 0 to 6, y star dA that is y by 2 dA is y dx over integral 0 to 6 y dx and again because you know y equal to x squared by 9 you have integral 0 to 6 x squared by 9 and 2 that is 18 x squared by 18 into x squared by 9 dx over integral 0 to 6 x squared by 9 dx and that will give you 1 by 9 into 1 by 18 integral 0 to 6 x raised to 4 dx over 1 by 9 integral 0 to 6 x squared dx and that is 1 by 9 will cancel each other here so you have 1 by 18 x raised to 5 by 5 within limit 0 to 6 divided by x cubed by 3 0 to 6 and that will give you 1 by 18, 6 raised to 5 over 5 divided by 6 raised to 3 over 3. Because the lower limit is 0, you only have to calculate the upper limit, the values for the upper limit. And that will give you, I'm just using my calculator here, 6 raised to 5 
divided by 5 divided by 18 that is 86.4 over 6 raised to 3 divided by 3 that is 72 so that is equal to 86.4 divided by 72 and that's 1.2 So your answer or the y coordinate of the centroid is 1.2 and x coordinate of the centroid is 4.5 this is x bar and 1.2 is y bar so you have your centroid at 4.5 and 1.2 let's say here and the distances are this is 4.5 and this is 1.2 again if you have any confusion in calculating these equations or derivation of these equations go through the video where we discuss centroid and center of gravity